Welcome back YouTube, my name is Chef Wes and today I am back with another macaroni taste test video. This time it's just a one man show. I purchased a stick and put my phone onto it and it just happens to follow me around. So let's get to cooking. Okay, you can see my face. I'm guessing, yeah, you're moving. And this thing auto zooms too, so that's pretty great. So let's get started. I got my mise en place all ready to go. I'm looking at the thick and creamy American mac and cheese. That just sounds really good to me right now since I'm really hungry and I've been starving all day. Like it's so interesting just being by myself for once, you know, like sometimes one person just doesn't know what it's like to be alone, but now you know, it feels great to be alone for once. Oh, I almost forgot if you just wait there. I purchased something from Amazon just the other day. I want to be as clean as I can in this environment. And you put it on just like that. Yeah. That looks right, right? I can't really tell what I look like right now, but hopefully it looks good. Mmm. And looks delicious. Mmm. Mmm. So this calls for four tablespoons of butter. Yeah, that probably sounds good. One fourth cup of all homo milk. <laughs> My favorite. Oh, noodle. <clears throat> mm. Yeah, that noodle is ready. Okay, I think that's ready. We're gonna plate the creation. It looks pretty good. Anyways, let's taste test this. Mm. I could eat this whole bowl right now. No, if you don't like milk, there's something wrong with you. Yes. Milk makes you big. Mm. It's good for the bones, kids. American Craft Thick and Creamy, I gotta say, 8 out of 10. It was pretty good. You should try it too. Next box, Mac and Vegan Cheese Macaroni. Go, go, quinoa. Gonna see what that tastes like. It's weird, I'm like taking a look at this box and it's like telling me not to add any butter, but I'm gonna do it because I love butter and butter is good for you just like milk. Oh, okay. I thought it was burning, but it ain't, okay? Oh, it's like turning green. Water is turning green right now. All right, all right, it's ready. All right, well, I'll let that sit and then, oh boy. Okay, you're still recording. I just gotta check on you occasionally. Okay, now it says to put in our favorite milk. Like, uh, I'm not joking right now. Like, it says right here, add three-fourths cup of your favorite milk in the warm saucepan. You all know my favorite. The good homo milk. Vegan quinoa mac and cheese. Let's give it a taste. You know... The flavor overall, a little bland, but I mean, it still tastes like cheese. Like, if I went vegan, I would eat this. The flavor is just getting worse and worse as you eat it. Quinoa vegan mac and cheese, four out of 10. Okay guys, I'm back. I just took like a month break and now I'm back with my macaroni again. So let's get cooking. So the next macaroni we're gonna try is the dollar store macaroni. Looks like this. No chef dresses like this, except for Chef Wes. At our noodle. All right, pasta's done. Oh. No, noodle. That's a good noodle. This cheese packet isn't that bad. Complete our creation. And there you have it. Some dollar store mac and cheese. Gonna give it a good taste. Mmm. This one's not bad. 
It definitely has that aged cheddar flavor because it's been expired for over a year. Dollar Store Mac and Cheese, 4.5 out of 10. So our next box is going to be the Walmart Original Mac and Cheese. I wish... I wish that I could magically make macaroni appear before me. That would be amazing. I'd make my own restaurant and it'd be Wesley's Magical Macaroni. I feel kind of awkward because like behind me is a splash park with parents and children. So they, they could literally just be spying on me and see that I'm half naked with an apron on, just talking to myself right now. A little scary, but you know, I'll get over it. I'm cooking some macaroni and that's all that matters. I'm cooking some macaroni for you, for your enjoyment, so that you can watch me eat noodle all day. All right, there you go. I think that's good enough for that noodle. Now this is the Walmart mac and cheese. You're a good taste. You know, the one from Dollar Store tasted a little bit grainy. This one's smooth. Walmart mac and cheese, six out of 10. Stop popping. Stop. Stop it, you bad boy. Stop. The last box of the day is going to be the Kraft Dinner Alfredo. Now, I've never seen this before until, you know, like a year ago. So we're gonna see how it tastes. These pasta noodles are weird. Like imagine, okay, imagine what your fingernail looks like. It has like a little bend to it. It's pretty, what would, what do you even say? Like thin. Uh, so this noodle right here, it just looks like a human fingernail. It's gross. Like, like ima imagine this being my fingernail. Like that's so weird. Oh, such a weird noodle. Apparently you can put this in the microwave. It gives you special instructions. I feel like a witch or a wizard right now. Like I'm just cooking up some fingernails. Next thing I gotta add is a cricket's heart. All right, done. I'm probably not gonna like this, but we'll just see. A Kraft Dinner Alfredo, let's give it a taste. It's like, I mean, I mean it, it just looks like a weird Alfredo. Hmm. I don't really like the smell too much. It's, it's pre-packaged Alfredo, like. Yeah, not my favorite, that's, it's, it's not inedible, but it's just, it's not good. That's like a, like a three out of 10. Craft Alfredo, three out of 10. Well guys, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, please give a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.